games for a while. <laughs> now it's time to uh, shake into some TV shows here. Uh, WandaVision. I did not like this show. Um, I was trying to think of a comparison to make here, and I figured the comparison I wanted to make, and it's WandaVision is the Assassin's Creed Valhalla of TV shows. And for those who um, have been with my channel for quite some time will know that uh, I did not like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, well, it seems like everyone else did. So that is sort of what I'm getting at with that comparison here. Now, the show itself, it isn't bad, but it isn't good. I don't think it's as good as people say it is. Uh, there will be no spoilers here. Just for reference here. Uh, WandaVision is meant to be sort of this sitcom over the years. Every episode is a different sitcom. Uh, and already this does not help with sort of it be with my enjoyment of the series because I don't like sitcoms. I think they're absolutely god-awful TV shows. You know, I've never been that type of person who likes Friends or Full House or any of those. But before I begin wagging on this show completely, let's get let's get some of the nice things out of the way. Uh, it's well acted, you know, the set design is great. It really does pay respects to some of the sitcoms. If you are a fan of sitcoms, you will uh, like this show, I think, even if you sort of don't like superheroes. There is a character I like a lot in this show. I believe her name is Agnes. She's like this uh, nosy neighbor type of character. I really like that. Easily the best parts of the show is when uh, reality begins to break and essentially the Matrix begins to show itself. That's really the best part of this show. Let's, I want to begin wagging on this show really badly right now. So let's begin. Let's first talk about the characters. Every character is really dumb in this show. Really stupid. Like, especially Vision, because Vision is supposed to be this hyper-intelligent computer. He is incredibly dumb in this show. He makes so many dumb decisions. It takes so long for him to figure things out, despite the fact that he is a supercomputer. Um, Wanda is also incredibly dumb in this show. Um, just really every character is really, really dumb in this show. But there is a villain that does a couple very stupid things towards the end of this show. Let's also talk about other things about characters. Vision uh, sort of suffers from Infinity War. Not by his death, uh, but by what I mean is that he's severely weakened. They make Vision look like a goddamn baby in this. Like you slap him with a pool noodle and you, you'll flop over. Uh, simultaneously, they make Wanda incredibly strong to the point where it basically breaks the entire MCU universe. I call this the Captain Marvel effect, where you essentially introduce or you make a character so powerful where you have to ask yourself, well, what's the point of other characters if this character is this powerful? Uh, you know, what's the point of the Avengers anymore? We can, we just have Wanda now. That's enough to protect the entire universe, it seems. Then we have other characters. Uh, there is this, another character who they add in here who's not very likable. Essentially, there are, essentially there are two storylines here. Wanda's and then there's, uh, the sword, the organization sword storyline. So there are two, like, following narratives in this show. Uh, and the stupidity of the characters, uh, does not contain to just Wanda's storyline. It also spills over to the S.H.I.E.L.D. storyline. There was the detective, FBI detective from Ant-Man. I don't remember his name. He's okay. He's probably like my second favorite character in this movie. Uh, there's this really annoying, like, hacker lady in, in the show. I really don't like her. She's like, give me my coffee. Really obnoxious. Um, and there's this... I kept calling her Viola Davis, but I don't think that's actually her name. She is incredibly stupid. Uh, she is probably one of the worst parts of the show, despite the fact that 
that she's incredibly well acted. Uh, they just make some incredibly stupid decisions with her, with her character. Uh, the villains here are incredibly dumb, especially the S.H.I.E.L.D. villain they have. Incredibly stupid. I also think uh, this doesn't help the fact that it, this is the first piece of Marvel media, uh, the first piece of MCU thing in Phase 4. Uh, you know, this is meant to get you excited for Phase 4. Uh, it really was nothing, this. It. I just don't see it. I don't see it in any form of capacity. None of the villains are interesting, except for maybe one, but they ruin that as well, and I'll get to that in spoilers. Um, I think really the biggest thing that this uh, show suffers from is that it's so heavily MCU. Um, for the people who say that this breaks the MCU formula, they are completely lying to you. This is probably the most formulaic MCU thing they could have put out for a long while. You have terribly dumb villains, um, you know, everything is practically the same, everything is incredibly predictable, uh, the heroes face no consequences for their actions despite their actions in this movie, I mean in this show particularly, are very, very bad. Uh, once we talk about spoilers, I'm gonna rag on certain moments of this, um, you know, things just happen for no reason because superheroes, I guess. Uh, and it really does everything I hate in an MCU film, but in a TV form. Which brings me to my next sort of thing that doesn't help this show out. Uh, and it's the fact that sort of doing this break from Endgame and this n new piece of media they've put out. I have put a lot of thought into, you know, different MCU movies. I've sort of realized how dumb they are, so I know what I uh, so I know what to point out here, and this doesn't help with sort of the time gap between these two, uh, the end game and a uh, one division, and overall, it sort of just doesn't make me like a uh, wanda war vision. Once again, I will say that the show isn't bad, but it's just not very good. I think this is either the worst or the second worst sort of Marvel media I have consumed. Um, I would give it maybe like a 5 out of 10. It's very average. Uh, however, this is something I usually don't do in reviews. I do want to talk about spoilers since there are incredibly dumb moments in this movie, I mean in this show. Uh, so, if you want to watch the show, you can watch the show. Do whatever you want. Okay. Are we good? Are you done now? You can. Now let's talk spoilers. Uh, thing number one that I hate about this movie is that it has no stakes. Um, one thing I hate about Marvel movies is that somehow all characters come back, you know. Even in Endgame, every character somehow managed to come back. Even Loki, people who were dead, dead, came back somehow. And they once again do that again with Vision. Uh, a temporary Vision. First it was a Vision from Wanda's manifestations of like sad and sadness and anger. However, they made, they introduced this white vision towards the end of the movie, end of the show, I keep saying movie, I'm sorry, end of the show, and, you know, vision, like, the cognition of vision, uh, sort of jogs white vision's memories, and so that white vision zooms off, so vision is essentially back now, um, basically saying a, a, a huge F you, um, so vision is back and not dead, that's great, uh, I love when characters can just come back through very convenient means. Um, speaking of characters that come back, Quicksilver came back in a sort of a recast. We never really get to see what happened to him. 
uh, he was created by a main witch villain, so we never see what happens, but I'm 100% sure, 100% sure that he is still here, and he has remained, uh, because of course this is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and characters can't die in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, the most infuriating thing about this show is probably the characters, uh, especially Wanda, and how people react to Wanda. There are no goddamn consequences for anyone's actions in this show. Uh, Wanda essentially uses a town of people as puppets, and she gets to roam free because she's a part of the Avengers. Uh, this is incredibly stupid. You know, there's this really stupid scene between, uh, the lady, the new character, the new hero, the African-American lady, and she's like, they'll never know what you've be been put through. Like, what the, what the, f you, you basically, like, what? Like, they're trying to pull this sympathetic card, and how Wanda was the one that was suffering. This lady put people, basically brainwashed people, and tortured them, doing things against their will, and were meant to be sympathetic to Wanda. Yeah, people die. It's a part of life. You don't need to make an entire reality construct to sort of justify that. Uh, incredibly dumb. Uh, speaking of incredibly dumb, the African-American, the new hero, uh, I keep calling her Viola Davis, I'm not even sure if that's her name. Uh, she's apparently a superhero now because uh, she walked through, like, Wanda's little barrier thing. Really? It is so stupid. So dumb. Uh, makes zero sense in the context of, like, how things get changed, you know, to fit the universe. Does this mean Wanda wanted her to get superpowers? Never gets explained. It sort of just happens, and you have to take it. It's really stupid, really dumb. Don't like her. I uh, don't like how he got your powers. Uh, um, but of course, uh, let's just go with it, because it's a superhero movie, and it's incredibly dumb. Um, they also do something I really hate. Yeah, Agnes, I mentioned in the not-spoiler review, was my favorite character. She is the main witch villain. She is the main villain of this show. She was a pretty good villain. She wasn't, like, outstanding, but she was okay. However, they do something I completely hate with her. First of all, you know, she traps Wanda in sort of this room with signs so she can't wield magic and that's cool you know Agnes is using her intelligence to sort of outsmart Wanda because Wanda is a, a really stupid person when it comes to wizard like witch stuff so that's really cool but then Agnes brings Wanda outside without the sealing magic are you an idiot are you stupid what the hell are you doing seriously you're stupid and I get it, it's so she can absorb magic, but, you know, wasn't there, like, a scene where, uh, Agnes could, like, change reality itself by wielding a spell? I'm sure there was a spell in a little handbook or cookbook there where she can forcibly take her there, her magic, without having to send her outside. Not only that, but she also, like, helps Wanda. She's, like, teaching her spells and techniques while she's fighting them. Like, this is an anime, like, Dragon Ball Z. They'll, she's, like, teaching uh, uh, Wanda. And it's like, you know this person is dangerous. You see how dangerous she is, and you want her to be dead. Why are you telling her information? Like, oh, these are seals. Uh, whoever wields them uh, can't use magic anymore. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the information. I'm just gonna use that on you. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then they probably do the most MCU thing out of all of this. And they essentially, uh, get rid of Agnes forever. Um, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, Wanda essentially beats Agnes and says, yeah, you're going to be sort of this, uh, this nosy neighbor role for all time now. And so, effectively, Agnes is gone uh, from the MCU. Um, I'm really getting sick and tired of these sort of one-time villains. They really need to begin.
in uh, making villains that actually over arc into many different movies, many different pieces of media from the MCU, like Loki, because these villains are just so weak and they can't be explored long enough for a TV show or a movie. They really need to begin making these villains a uh, multi-movie, multi-showed. Though maybe she will come back. That made me very upset that they got rid of Agnes so quickly. The main villain, the sort of S.H.I.E.L.D. director, is the most cartoonish villain you can ever make. It is so MCU. It is so stupid. Um, the idea that the MCU is sort of out of their bad villain phase is false. They are still making terrible, terrible villains. He is the worst villain I can think of in a very long time. He wasn't cool. He wasn't powerful. You know, he wasn't even an anti-hero, you know. I actually agreed with him. Like, Wanda is dangerous and she needs to be stopped. She controlled an entire group of people. Uh, he was doing things against their will. She is dangerous. Uh, but once again, uh, no consequences for your actions. I think that really shows. Don't worry. Uh, as long as you're born special, uh, you, you can have no consequences for your actions. Vision himself, I haven't really talked about him very much in the spoiler section, because he's really not in the show very much. He sort of just plays the hobby husband role, except for like the last three episodes where he begins fighting his evil counterpart. Really dumb. Uh, I do like sort of the ending, where instead they do some big flashy battle. The two visions try to out intellectually inch up, out intellectual each other like that like two creditors uh two incels are uh, talking about femoids that like all the theoretical matrix of the of the transmatic solutions yeah i like that part that was probably one of the only good parts about uh sort of the last couple episodes they have uh i sort of like this uh when Agnes was sort of walking Wanda on a life, on like a life story, I liked that episode because it dropped the sort of, what is a sitcom thing. But that's really all I liked towards the end. Uh, I don't like any of the characters except for Agnes, which is now gone. Um, I'm not excited to see anything else from Phase 4 if everything is going to be like this. Uh, maybe Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness will be good, since that's supposed to be like a horror, a horror, a horror, I can't say that word, a scary movie. And this show did have some scary moments where you're like, whoa, that's pretty wild. Like they show Vision, Vision dead for like half a frame, and then they show Quicksilver dead for another half a frame. And those moments were pretty scary, so maybe there's some potential in that. But this really doesn't get me excited for the future of the MCU. Only thing I could think of during watching these episodes were, that's so stupid, that makes no sense, wait what? I'm so confused. Like, it makes no sense, and of course they have to, you know, blue ball you and tease you at the end with, um, I'd even mention Wanda's kids, uh, once again, Wanda's kids, I mean, I know they're in the comics, I really didn't like either of them, uh, and it's not the fault of Wanda's, uh, it's not really the fault of the actors, it's, uh, I don't know, I just found them really annoying. Everything about this show is just really annoying, I think. Once again, it's one of those things where it seems like I didn't like it, but it seems like everyone else did. Uh, so, those are sort of my thoughts. I think what really pissed me off was there were no consequences for anyone's actions in this. Um, all I'm saying is, if I were a superhero, I would have... I would go for Wanda. I would try to kill Wanda since clearly um, she can be a little bit uncaged at times and that is very dangerous with someone so powerful as her. Uh, so that's sort of what I think of WandaVision. Really disappointed, not looking forward to anything uh, that in the MCU is going to be putting out soon. Uh, I will see you next time. Remember, I 
love you more than watching this show, which really doesn't say a lot. Bye-bye.